Lakers Rockets got into a fight. Brandon Ingram, Rajon Rondo, Chris Paul, they all got ejected. There were suspensions were issued even. Brandon Ingram is out for four games. Rajon Rondo's out for three games. Chris Paul's out for two games. I loved every minute of it. I'm a fan of this. I'm not, I'm not condoning fighting. I'm not a fan of fighting in basketball. But what I loved was the passion, the aggression that we saw from the Lakers. And, you know, I'll be honest, I don't like James Harden. <laughs> because the whole thing came off of a foul called on Brandon Ingram against James Harden. And I hate the way James Harden plays basketball. Basically, all of James Harden's points come off of going, eh, like if he'll, he'll flop, he'll take a foul, and shoot a bunch of free throws. He'll make like 20 points off free throws in a game. It's irritating to me. Because it's weak, it's wimpy, it's... I respect the hustle. Like, I respect James Harden found a loophole in the system, found a way to succeed, but it drives me nuts. It's like, that's not a foul, you wimp. I, I felt for Brandon Ingram, because Brandon Ingram and Rajon Rondo, when they got in that fight against the Rockets, they were just reacting the way I felt. I was like, ah, I hate that. Why does James Harden always get fouls called? Brandon Ingram shoved James Harden, yelled at the ref, got right in the ref's face, got a technical. And then Rajon Rondo didn't back down from Chris Paul. I like all of it. Here's a couple reasons why I like that. I like the passion the Lakers showed. Again, I don't condone fighting in basketball. But I like the message that the Lakers sent against the Rockets. Brandon Ingram, for the first time in his career, the first time I've ever watched Brandon Ingram, saw some passion. I saw some fight. And not just punching and pushing. I like a, a different Brandon Ingram that's there to show up and fight for the win. That's cool. I like that. Because we're all hoping. If you're a Lakers fan, I'm not even a Lakers fan. I'm a guy who wants Lakers to be interesting. People rooting for that are hoping Brandon Ingram progresses and gets better for the Lakers. This is the time we need to see Brandon Ingram have a breakout year. I also loved what I saw from Rajon Rondo. That guy's a scrappy guy. He's a scrappy leader. I want a physical and passionate Lakers team. I was not bothered by that fight. I saw people, it's a disgrace to the Lakers' name. Shut up. Go away. I want to see the big bad Lakers bully people, push them around, get into some tussles. I like that. It's LeBron's team, and Rajon Rondo's there for a purpose. Rajon Rondo's a scrappy leader that brings an edge. If you get Brandon Ingram to play with some dog, to have some passion, have some fight, I like that. That's what Rajon Rondo brings to the table. That maybe LeBron doesn't is that attitude, that aggression. And I'm okay with that. I don't like fighting. I don't like throwing punches on a basketball court. A little pushing, a little bit of elbows. That passion, that aggression that Rajon Rondo brings is something I like. I have no problem with what I saw against the Rockets from the LA Lakers. I'm okay with that. I don't like that. I hope it never happens again. I don't want to see the Lakers get into fights every night. But that first one sets the message for the rest of the year. We're here. We're big, we're bad, we're tough. Don't mess with us. We are the LA Lakers. I'm Rajon Rondo. I'm Brandon Ingram. Don't mess with me. I'm okay with that. You get one free pass. You get one fight, and I'll be like, yeah, it's fine. Second and third fights, I go, okay, stop. Can we stop fighting on the basketball court? Can we actually play basketball? But this one, I'm okay with that. Hi, my name is Zach Schaumler. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. It means a ton to me. This is my podcast, Strong Opinion Sports. It's my favorite thing in the entire world. And if you're new to Strong Opinion Sports, you can subscribe to Strong Opinion Sports on iTunes, on SoundCloud, and on YouTube. You can find the full entire hour-long podcast on YouTube, as well as shorter little breakout clips like the one you just watched. And if you really want to help me, please tell your friends about Strong Opinion Sports. Help me grow by telling your friends about this show. Share it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever it is. Help me grow by telling your friends about Strong Opinion Sports. My name is Zach Schaumler. Thank you so much, and have a great day.